Nidley. Well, we'll get you going just as soon as we can. After we take off today, we're anticipating. So I've arrived in uh, Skiphol Airport. Yeah, I was here like literally a few weeks ago, a month ago. But yeah, I'm back again. We'll see what we get up to this time. But yeah, I just uh, flew out from Humberside Airport. Last time I flew out, I had San Miguel, which is actually decent beer and does the job. This time I only had Carlsberg on the tap. All that does is make you want to go to the toilet more because it's got like, just like water down beer. It's like shandy. Doesn't do any good at all. Carlsberg's crap, official. Carlsberg's rubbish. But anyway, let's get out of the airport and see what happens next. So I got past through, pa uh, got through the passport control. That took ages. Loads of uh, Koreans there. Looked like it uh, looked like I was on the uh, Netflix movie set or service set of their uh, Squid Games. Proper like, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I'm at the airport, got through. Next step is to get to the shop because I need to buy a couple of uh, supplies. Which is up here because I remember from last time. All the Christmas decorations are now up. Looks very colourful. So yeah, I'm going to get some supplies. Get to the train station, get to the hotel. They're absolutely knackered and it's getting late. So yeah, let's get that done. So I've got out of the shop, but yeah, in it daft, the only thing I know with, so fine straight away in there, was the lady's razor. It's strange. No, it's because I came a month ago. <laughs> and it's the cheapest razor. It's one euro something for that. It's where the men's razors cost like 50 euros or something. It's got some L'Oreal and some water. And the whole cost was. 11.63 Anyway, this isn't a shopping channel, this is a travel channel so let's get to the train station and get to Hoofdob where my hotel is So I got on the train I just hope it's the right one I ain't got a clue, it didn't, even say what, it didn't even say the station I need to get to, I just jumped on it it just says Rotterdam So if I end up in Rotterdam instead of where I need to go then you know I got on the wrong train Don't call me Eddie's Adventures for no reason, but yeah. If it stops in approximately five minutes and I'm at Hoofdorp Station, then we've got the right train. I am on the wrong train. Okay, laughs on me, I'm literally on the wrong train. Keep you updated. Okay, so it's official. I've ended up at Rotterdam. This is totally accidental. It's late on a Friday night and I'm like now 40, 50 minutes away. Well, longer than that, an hour away from where I need to be. So now I've got to wait for the train now to take me all the way back to flipping Schiphol Airport. And then I've got to like get a train from Schiphol Airport to Toothdorp. How the hell I've managed to do this, I'll never know. Bloody hell. One for the fact that I paid so much money on a hotel for the next two nights, I would have... Uh, I would have just got a hotel in Rotterdam. And that has crossed my mind, to be honest with you. But yeah, it is what it is. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Absolute idiot. So we've got two minutes to have a look around Rotterdam. Uh, I think I'll get back in the station. Looks pretty naff. Back on the 
train going the right way now. Can't wait to get a beer. Okay, we're gonna get the right train this time, definitely. Got a line. Literally two minutes to get it. Platform four. This is mega confusing tonight. One as hard as this last time I did all this. There's no clear signs. I mean, I'm looking for hoofed up, but there's no clear signs. And I don't want to get on the wrong one again, do you know what I mean? It's... Ah. Hoofed up. Five to six. Platform five to six, hoofed up, 2206. Hoofed up, 2203. Platform four. Platform four is here. Do not board. Next train, two hundred three hoof door. Do not board. What does that mean? Do not board. I mean, am I allowed to board this train or not? Well, I'm boarding it. Definitely boarding it. Just hope it gets us to the right place. Into a free poof door. Says do not board. I'm boarding. Actually, there's no one on the train. empty train. Let me figure this out. Okay, that's not hooved up. I basically got told to get away from the train. So now this is hooved up, the platform I first went on. This is definitely becoming a practical joke. And now the bloody stairs aren't working. Probably start working while I'm running down it and then I'll go flying. What's the title of this video? Travel day, mayhem, lost, Rotterdam. Finally, something I can make common sense out of. A natural name saying hooved up on this platform in four minutes. I'm actually starting to feel optimistic now. So in four minutes I get this train, that'll take an extra five minutes. So in nine minutes time I should be at hooved up station and the hotel I think is five minutes from there. So once we drop the bags off in the hotel, we're gonna neck a pint, definitely. So keep watching and you haven't already hit subscribe. Thanks. I can't believe it. That train there says hoof up on it. And it's on the other platform. There's no way I can run up them stairs all the way down and get onto that in time. I can't believe this. Where's my suitcase? Bloody hell. Dear passengers, due to engineering works, buses are running between Putnam 
It's not looking to say buses are running between this one and that one, that'd just be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? But no, it does my head in because like, I was on that platform, that's the one I got lost on. And I didn't know there was a train going to Hoofdorp on that platform. And now it's right there. I was actually on that platform. I'm absolutely mortified. And now it's going to go without me, as you can see. So I'm like lost on this station. I mean, this is becoming like a comedy show on its own. I mean, someone's laughing at me on the other side of the platform at my antics. So now I've got to wait here. And this train better turn up. It better do. Two minutes time. Let's see. And yeah, the train's here. I'm not even going to sit down on this train. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to stand right next to the door. And then that way I know I'm not going to miss it. But I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not going to mess this one up. Oh dear, what sort of place am I going to? Oh, like graffiti on the train. Am I going to the Bronx or something? And now the train's going to run out of space for me. Bloody hell. sit down because it's right next to the door so I'm, unless I'm completely stupid I should be able to get off but yeah I'm on the right train I think find out soon so I've made it to Hooved Up So yeah, made it hoofed up, out the station. Let's get to the hotel. Something tells me it's right this way. I'm probably totally wrong, and I'll be absolutely gutted if I am wrong, because I need a beer. But hopefully, I'm not wrong. But time will tell. And I'm not wrong. I don't know if you can see, but right here, that building there is no hotel, and that's where I'm staying. I'm not waiting for them lights to change the green because I ain't got time. But yeah, no Vatel, straight ahead. Bah, straight ahead. First, get all this crap drops off at the room, get checked in. And then, and then the jobs are good and. Fresh air. Let's investigate. Floor. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, scan that. Hang on, switch this off. Right, I'm, I think I'm on the 12th floor. So, let's get to the room, drop this off, and have a drink. Very good impressions, nice area downstairs. So you'll see on a later video the next couple of days but first of all let's get to the room executive floor i forgot that i'm an executive guest let's see what an executive guest gets okay so i've literally just walked in my room first of all because we've got a bit longer than i thought because the bar's open until 12 and uh i've got a complimentary mini bar which hopefully got beer in it Oh, that's so nice. Take my shoes off just a bit of... The video might look like it's only been on for a bit, but it started, well, six or seven hours ago. And that feels good. So let's have a look at the room. First off, we'll have a look at the bathroom. No, shower room, because that's where we are now. So yeah, a nice shower. But we're not going to do a full room review right now. That's another day. Sink area, toilet area. But I want to look at the mini bar. The bed area. Oh, that's ace, look at that. Lay on the bed, and then you just, uh, you got your own little drink table. I'm actually sure the real use for it's actually a food table and a mini bar. It's got no beer, I'm not even joking, it's got no beer in it. What is that about? You've got apple juice, orange juice, green tea, a Coke, and a Coke Zero. No beer. Coffee making machine, couple of snacks, 
but yeah let's get a move on because there's no beer and we need a beer get a drink I need a beer So I've got that pint eventually, after tonight's adventures, or more like catastrophe. But yeah, Heineken, eight euros a pint of Heineken. Cheers. Let's see if I can get my first swig below that line. I've got it massively below the line. Ooh, but yeah, give me chill out for a bit now. It's all these magazines to read. I'm actually starting to question if I've actually gone in a hotel bar and I just walked out accidentally and gone into a library. I mean, this is more like a library, not a bar. But no, it's still beer. I'm actually using a new camera for this trip. I mean, I've got loads of cameras, as you know. My best one is the DJI Action 5, which I'm not using this trip, because I'm testing out the Insta360 Pro camera. And yeah, it seems all right. It's heavier than the other one. Getting used to it, but yeah. The quality, what I'm seeing from it, seems all right. Anyway, less of the boring talk, more of the drinking. So now I'm recording myself, taking a picture of myself. And I'm definitely not a poser, but there's a reason I'm doing it. But yeah, I'm going to record myself, taking a picture of myself. Oh dear, people think, what a weirdo. <laughs> Pint number two. I just saw that, I would sit in here. Looks all right, doesn't it, in here? Nice little executive room for an executive person. Then again, sitting in here, everyone's just looking at me like, why is this nutter sitting on his own in this bit? When it's lit up and the rest of the bar's dark, so it just makes me look like, uh, like yeah, basically, the attention's on me. Doesn't help that I've got a camera neither talking to myself. So yeah, get this other beer drunk. <laughs> and I've done it again, below the line. I'm a professional. <laughs> So, pint number three, and while we're, on the, um, while we're talking, I've got a blister. Bought these new shoes to travel in from TK Maxx. They only cost 35 quid, but I like the look of them. And they're sort of like day shoes slash night shoes, so they look trendy in the day and night as well. I'll show you them another time. But yeah, they gave me a blister on my heel, which is quite usual when I get new shoes. It does happen a lot, but yeah. So what happened today when I've got like two days of lots of walking to go ahead, it's not ideal, but yeah, we'll get through it. But yeah, I was looking at the damage on what that train cost me earlier. Now, it might have been a bit of a laugh and everything going to Rotterdam accidentally. And I was thinking of actually going there anywhere on this trip for a day out. But to actually do it at like 10 o'clock at night, when you just want to get to it's half to travel. It's not convenient, is it? Let's be honest. And it's cost me like, uh, up to now £12 for one trip <laughs> so you're looking at like uh, yeah it's going to cost me about 25 quid that, for getting there and back and I was literally there for like uh, 10 minutes <laughs> looked down the train station as you saw and yeah looked at dump so we'll see what tomorrow brings I'm not ruling it out going there completely for a day out but um, but yeah we'll see what tomorrow brings anyway on that note Cheers. Hello. It's another pint. It's about 23.52 in our time. Well, Holland time. 
22.52 in UK time. The bar is now shut. Basically said to me it's now getting cleaned. So, welcome to sit here. Here I am, Billy No Mates on my own. As usual. So yeah, I finish this drink and then there's a shop in the um, hotel itself, which is open 24 hours. And it's self-service and they sell like snacks and uh, beer, etc. So we'll get a couple of beers and then take it to the room. Probably have a look around the area, but that's not decided yet. We'll see what happens when I finish that. But yeah, apart from that, seems a pretty chilled out hotel. Apparently they have a beehive on the roof. Like a proper beehive. I mean, what is all that about? Beehive on the roof. I'm on the 12th floor, which is the top floor, so basically above me is a beehive. So, anyway, it's going to be a full review on this hotel. Not tonight, but it's coming up. So if you haven't already and you want to hear more about Novotel, in Amsterdam Airport, Hoofdorp, then click that subscribe button, it's free, and it will be up. After tomorrow's adventures, which I'm still working on, I don't know what my adventures are going to be tomorrow. I'm even sort of thinking of doing two adventures in one day, but we'll see how it goes. But on that note, I'm going to finish this Heineken, drink it slower than usual so I can take in the surroundings. See you on the next clip. From the library. Totally relaxed now. Totally relaxed. It's, yeah. Totally chilled out in the room, got a couple of cans of beer, said you 330 mil cans, four euro odd the can, rip off, we know it's a rip off, we have to do it, because there's no shops nearby apparently, and I did actually look as well. So I'm just chilling out in my room now, having a couple of cans, and yeah, watching a film, planes, trains and automobiles, as you know, is one of my best, and that's what I'm watching now. Absolutely excellent film. It's an old one, but it's an excellent film. I'm sure you all agree. But yeah, it's totally chilled out. The phone on charge, nice room temperature. The aircon works perfectly. Got another can there. Got some crisps. Big bag of oven baked roasted paprika. Got my mini fridge. I added a couple of bottles of water myself to it. Coffee machine. But anyway, this is not a room review as I keep saying. This is just me chilling. So what I'm gonna do is finish this can, then we'll pop downstairs, get a bit of fresh air, have a five minute walk around the area, see what's about, but I guess there's nothing about. And right now it's already half midnight here, so it'll be probably be about 1am by the time we actually get downstairs. But yeah, we'll go outside, get a bit of fresh air. Even if there's nothing about it, it'll be nice just to get a bit of fresh air. Probably pop back to that shop. And um, so I didn't actually know them Chris are the healthy ones. I like the unhealthy ones. But anyway, we'll see. But I'll catch you soon. So outside the hotel, Novotel. So let's have a quick investigation around the area and see what we find. We'll head up here. I can't see anything. It looks like it's pretty empty, to be honest with you. It looks like more like business buildings. 
Ah, that's called South Point Offices. I think you Yeah, South Point Office. Not too much around. Well, I mean, it's first impressions. This isn't like a... Am I just standing in loads of crap? What the hell is that I just stood in? I felt slippery though. <sighs> Yeah, nothing down here. This just looks like a lonely back road, which is basically for the car parking and things of this hotel. So yeah, I don't think there's anything. Um, let's walk on the road. Oh no, we'll get run over. There's the Hampton up there. I can see the Hampton Hilton. That's right up there for the future because as I uh, said on my last trip to this uh, country it's something I'm planning on doing monthly and uh, yeah as well as my other holidays what uh, Dominican Republic in May Costa del Sol next month Turkey in February and I want to do Amsterdam in between all the time well Holland because it's easy to get to but I might even do other short city breaks as well like Barcelona and things like that I mean I say it's easy to get to when you get lost like I did earlier it's like it's a it, <laughs> the time it took me from setting off to get into my hotel same time it takes to get from well to Tenerife because of me being a stupid idiot but yeah, there's nothing up here. Um, I mean, while there's no cars coming, let's have a quick look on this uh, road. Anything up there? I'll probably investigate the area tomorrow. But if not, then you won't see a video of it tomorrow. I will walk a little bit up here, see what's up here. I could do it with a pizza or something, but I did Google it and it's, it did say there's no pizza places. It's like the nearest McDonald's is like half an hour walk away. But I've got a blister, so I'm already struggling walking as it is. But yeah, I mean, I don't mind walking to McDonald's if if I knew what direction to go in. I mean, I could do it with a Big Mac actually. Let's double check. Bear with me. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in the right direction to McDonald's. The thing is, it's saying 27 minute walk, two kilometres away, which is probably about a mile and a half. I'll get there at 1:07 a.m. So, do I carry on walking there? Get there for 1:07 a.m. 27 minute walk. I don't know. What do you reckon? I'm still carrying on walking, aren't I? Why is that to be that far away, do you know what I mean? Bloody hell. What is the point in being that far away? McDonald's. Get yourself near the train station. I mean, I got the train set, it is hoofed up, and my hotel was like a four minute walk. So you'd think you'd get a McDonald's, like, do you know what I mean? Within like, next to the train station, not like a bloody half an hour walk away from the center of hoofed up. So then you're guessing the train station's in the center. But yeah, I'm not walking it. I'm just looking. It's just going on forever. Do you know what I mean? It'll be an hour by the time I get back and then it'll be like getting on for half two in the morning. Nah. I'm just going to get back to the hotel. Go back to the shop. Get some Pringles or something from the shop. I mean, I've already got that big bag of crisps. But I want some McDonald's. I want a pizza or something. But anyway, I'm going to have to go without some mate. I have to get used to it. I'm going without a McDonald's. It's not happening. It's not happening. But what is happening, I can get back to that shop and uh, probably get some sweets. And probably another Heineken. But anyway, stop blabbing on, blabbing on, and blabbing on, Eddie. Nobody liked me blabbing on like a complete 
idiot. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, so as you saw, we didn't find a McDonald's, we didn't find a Burger King, we didn't find a Pizza Hut, because this isn't Spain, it's not Gran Canaria, it's not where you can just walk around the corner and find all these places. This is Hoofdorp, where I'm staying in, which is like a place where people stay and stay in hotels between long-haul flights near Amsterdam Airport. So I need to get that into my head. Should I have stayed in Amsterdam? Yeah, probably. But... The price difference is massive. A hotel in Amsterdam, for a decent hotel, you're looking at £200 a night, £150 a night. £100 a night, the cheapest for a semi-decent hotel. Hoofdorp, where I'm staying at right now, five-minute train ride away from Amsterdam if you don't mess it up like I did. Then you get a decent hotel, I mean, this one I could have got for about £40 cheaper, but I upgraded to an executive room, thinking I'd get a mini fridge full of beers, but as you saw, I didn't. But yeah, Hoofdorp is like a five-minute train right away. The trains are every 15 minutes, and uh, most people with a brain in the head get the train quite easily from the airport to here. Uh, to, not everybody get a train to Rotterdam. It's... Um, me being an absolute tool. But yeah, to end the night off, we got a Corona beer from the sh hotel shop. <sighs> Four euros, five euros, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's worth it because it's Corona beer. And it's not worth it, no, it's absolutely rip-off. But one thing I've noticed in the last couple of trips to Holland is it's not a cheap country. It's like a lot of European countries are quite expensive. But it's just how it is. But cheers. This is the end of the vlog. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Hope you like my content. There's plenty more to come. In fact, there's loads more to come. In a couple of weeks, I'm actually staying. I'm not even looking forward to it. Do you know what I mean? I'm actually... I'm dreading this one. It's actually a UK trip in a couple of weeks. But it's staying in a pod in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere. I'm literally staying in a pod in the middle of nowhere. Imagine all the wildlife and rats and that lot around there. Bloody hell. But yeah... I don't know what to expect, but yeah, I'm staying literally in a little cabin in the middle of nowhere. But at least I've been told that, but we'll see what happens. But that's in a couple of weeks. But for now, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.